yung, yung awarding ng pagpapayaman versus uh, yung becoming financially stable. Yung minsan yung namimisguide nating mga mga What's cracking, everybody? It's Alex with Century 21 Leading Edge, Macaulay and Associates, um, your Filipino realtor here in Toronto. Another topic that, uh, you know, I think it's noteworthy for us to uh, discuss, right, is uh, it's about us Filipino. Um, and I, I think I'm going to say it in our own native language. <laughs> um, and the uh, question is this, right? Um, Uh, in a Tagalog, okay? Uh, bakit tayong mga Pilipino hindi umaasenso? Right? Uh, tayong mga Pilipino dito sa Canada hindi umaasenso. Anong uh, problema natin? Bakit hindi tayo umaasenso compared to other uh, uh, group of, of a nationality of a people, right? Uh, ano ang reason bakit hindi tayo umaasenso, okay? Um, I think um, yung Number one reason na kaya hindi tayo uma, umaasenso, um, uh, especially tayo mga ano, Pilipino, is that um, meron tayo nitong uh, tinatawag na crab uh, mentality. Okay? And uh, I'm gonna break it down sa ano, uh, I'm gonna compartmentalize it, right? Para maintindihan natin mga uh, Pilipino. So uh, this is actually, uh, you know, for us Filipino, okay? Um, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so um, pag yung mga uh, Pilipino, uh, uh, for example, uh, nag nagma migrate from the uh, Philippines, tapos pumunta dito sa Canada. Okay, um, they would leave behind their family, um, yung lifestyle nila sa uh, Pilipinas, whether they are you know successful or ano. ano man yung uh, lifestyle nila and then pumupunta sila dito sa Canada okay now now once they came here sa Canada they they start to uh, realize that oh pala yung buhay pala sa Canada is is not ano hindi pala madali right tapos na nanini bago sila and then uh, they they will get discouraged right na um, ang buhay dito, you know, kailangan nung makipagsabayan sa, you know, ibang mga tao, right? Um, and, uh, and, I, I think na, kapag, ano, uh, kapag ang isa sa atin, um, they starting to do something na, na different na, hindi natin naging accustomed sa uh, Pilipinas yung, you know, like how we uh, grew up. Um, I think na yung ama believer na, you know, who we are today is yung ano natin past, right? Kung, kung mga mahirap tayo sa, uh, Uh, Pilipinas, your mindset is like, you know, is also mahirap din, right? So, that's where we are. Mahirap tayo sa Pilipinas. When we come here, tapos nakita natin mga Pilipino na may mga iba ding Pilipino na umaasenso sa uh, buhay, and we're trying to assimilate with them, we're trying to model them, right? Ang nangyayari is, is, uh, Uh, people would think that oh si ano si ganito uh, uh, you know ang nagpapayaman or or ano akala niya mga sino na sila o ganyan ganyan right? mga ga- gossips right so eto yung nangyayari sa ating mga ano Pilipino right uh, as supposed to working together and congregating with each other right na na nagbabangayan tayo mga ano Pilipino kasi nagpapa uh, nagpapalakasan tayo right uh, ng opinion right na na oh pag hindi mo uh, naka nakasanayan or pag hindi mo ano ba terms yun na uh, pag hindi hindi yun ang nakagisnan mo sa uh, Pilipinas and then uh, papanibago we think that oh itong si ganito is ano he's a black sheep right da uh, na na hindi siya ano like like hindi siya hindi niya pina-follow yung ano traditions ng mga ano Pilipino right so nagiging butt hurt 
tayo mga ano Pilipino. And I think that's ano yung yung problema nating mga Pilipino is that um we're so uh, dramatic, you know, like we we easily get butt hurt, right? Pagka pagka uh, may nagsabi sa atin na oh um uh ganito ka, right? So we take it as uh, you know uh, like we can't take the negative we can't take the negative uh, criticism right so ito yung nangyayari sa ating mga ano Pilipino that's why we always ano bring each other down right na kapag may umaascenso um sa atin we always pull them down <clears throat> second <clears throat> is that yung ano natin lifestyle right um so going back to sa beginning na you know you, you come here sa as uh, sa Canada you know you left behind lahat ng pinaghirapan mo sa Pilipinas ano man yung lifestyle mo doon and then when you come here and you see oh, opportunity hindi mo agina grab right yung uh, opportunity dahil nandoon ka palagi sa a comfort zone right for example um kung may mga tao na nagtatrabaho ng mga ng you know ng uh, 12 ng 12 hours a, a day tapos may mga tao naman na nagtatrabaho ng 8 hours a, a day right yung mga tao na nagtatrabaho ng 12 hours a day ang tingin na natin minsan sa sa ganung mga ano uh, uh Pilipino is that, oh nagpapayaman ka right so so we always use that words right na you know uh na word na nagpapayaman okay So uh, and uh, another thing too was that we're too ano, like religious, right? So ang mga Pilipino is ano like religious, right? So kaya ang kapag ano kapag kapag ang isang tao eh, um isang uh, Pilipino is uh they were trying to is try to be you know to to uh, like whether it's in business or ano sa sa you know to to better their uh, life, right? Ang ating number one na uh, as sinasabi palagi is ano oh um nakakalimutan mo na yung yung ano responsibility mo sa family right na na you know it's it's always it's always a family first like before you do other things right and um and I think yun yung ano natin I mean sa a problema right na 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 when we're misguided um kapag nakagisnan natin na na uh, tradition is is to you know to always you know like be a religious like serve serve god first and then you know you start in making uh, progress in your life you start in making money right and then ang ang first ano natin is that you know um it's always been like bakit kailangan mo pang mag magpayaman right bakit kailangan mo nang nang uh, uh, magkaroon ng kung may bahay ka na bakit kailangan mo pa na magkaroon ng uh, pangalawa uh, na bahay right kung may isang ko- uh, kotse ka bakit kailangan mo, kung, kung ang ang kotse mo is a Toyota bakit kailangan mo magkaroon ka ng Tesla kailangan mo ng Mercedes right So ito yung nagiging problema nating Pilipino right na 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 we can't see past doon sa sa tradition na nakagisnan natin sa ano Pilipinas so we always go back to that right and uh, and uh, that's why you know uh, hindi hindi tayo umaascenso uh, kasi kapag yung isang Pilipino they were doing something uh, different nang uh, nakagisnan mo sa ano uh, Pilipinas right bago ka pumunta dito um then uh, as na sabi oh bakit hindi mo sundin yung nakagisnan mo like the way you talk sa uh, you know sa uh, uh, Pilipinas right like for example you know the way you speak to your elders right uh uh it, like you know paggamit ng mga po you know paggamit ng uh, ng pangalan by by calling yourself names right sometimes you appear to be um if you're you know for example i grew up here so canada right so if if i were to call um you know somebody elder than me na by their own names you know it says oh i, 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 I alex blah blah right 
So that's something to na no na like hindi natin na na overcome, right? And uh, that's why you know like we always in a uh, long terms don't yung yung uh, that's why we're always in conflicting. That's why we're conflicting ourselves, right? Um, and also, um, since na tayo mga ano Pilipino, uh, we're always you know we're known to be ano religious, right? Uh, Ito, like whether you're Christians or other denominations or Filipinas, right? Pag pumunta tayo dito sa, ano, dito sa Canada, ang nangyayari minsan is uh, we don't know the difference between yung, yung pagpapayaman versus uh, he's striving to become financially stable, right? So yung, yung uh, definitions ng, ng wording na pagpapayaman is very degrading. Right? Napaka sinabihan ka na, oh, si ano, ganito, ganito, nag, nagpapayaman siya, right? Meanwhile, what this guy is, is doing is only simply, you know, like trying to become financially stable. So, yung pagkaka, yung, yung awarding ng pagpapayaman versus the, yung becoming financially stable, yung minsan yung namimisguide natin mga, mga Pilipino na we don't know what the difference between uh na nagpapayaman versus um becoming a financially uh stable like being rich versus becoming financially stable and that's why we always resort to this a crab mentality <laughs>